The honeybee is a beautiful and hardworking insect. Watching IT doing its job is wonderful, but what happens when it sits on your arm? It's too painful and itchy. When a honeybee stings into your skin, it releases venom that causes pain and affects the immune system and skin cells. But did you know what happens to the bee after stinging? Honeybees are calm creatures that don't sting unless they sense any danger. After stinging, bees are not capable of pulling the barbed stinger out of our skin. This barbed stinger comprises the bee's digestive tract, muscles, and nerves, without which they don't work normally and usually die. Honeybees have exceptional survival instincts. Even if you smack the honeybee away, a group of nerve cells facilitates the muscles of the stinger left behind. The spiked shafts rub to and ferro, diving further into your skin. Muscular valves pump poisons from an appended venom sac and convey IT to the injury for a few minutes after the honeybee is gone. As the stinger continues to work even after hitting the bee, it becomes vital to remove it quickly. If you start late on removing the sting it can lead to detrimental effects. This process of leaving behind a body part by the bees is called autotomy. These little oval-bodied insects with tiny brains are brilliant and use their smelly footprints to distinguish between the sense of strangers and their relatives. These hardworking little pollinators make around 100 million trips to about 200 million flowers to collect enough nectar for that one pound of honey. Honeybees sleep 5 to 8 hours a day, and just like US, they rest at night. Their brains are quite active even when they are sleeping. So there are a lot more interesting facts to know about this beautiful insect. Stay tuned with GeoHoney to know more about these beneficial pollinators.